Hello YouTube. This is uh, my Hey Chances pair. This is uh, stage two of my attempted pairing. Today I'm going to take the divider down. These these two have been together with a divider in now for a, over a month. The female has got a bearings. She's uh, settled happily. She's feeding nicely. She's comfortable with her uh, environment, surroundings. And uh, she's doing well. So uh, I think it's time I'll take the divider down. Another reason why I'm taking it down today is because I've got a week off work. And I can monitor these every day. Because I'd, I'd hate to come home from work and uh, find a dead female. So this is uh, stage two of the pairing. But I do have a, a backup plan. I'm going to remove the divider and then I have plan B. If this doesn't go well, plan B is to uh, cut holes in the divider so she can go through without the male. But I'm hoping I don't have to do that. I've done it lots of times in the past with other fish, Trimax and um, Bean Eye and all these aggressive fish. But uh, I hope I don't have to do that with these. I'm finding like a uh, Haitiensis fairly easy to pair and breed. Anyway, we'll remove the divider. That was a bit of a mistake. I shouldn't have put that bit on time lapse I thought it would take me a long time to get the divider out so I'll put it on time lapse. I'm experimenting with my mobile phone I don't have a proper camera so we're on a proper speed now we don't seem to be uh, interacting with one another no aggression at the moment We'll uh, put it on pause and we'll come back in five minutes and see how they're getting on. But uh, so far, so good. Well, uh, they seem to be getting okay. The female has lost, lost all the black coloration. The reason why I want these two to get on is because they're unrelated. We've bred loads of uh, Haitiensis in the past, but most of them are, are related. I mean, uh, my original, JCB, you can't do a video without JCB. Uh, he's, he's not the humpy head variety, but this female, she produces fry with the humpy heads. My original females were jet black with a white face. But these seem to be uh, mottly, mottly black. We'll see what, how, what colour she goes when she gets into spawning mode. Anyway, no aggression whatsoever. But these fish, a bit, I can't remember where I said it earlier, but these have been together in this tank with a divider for over a month. So they've got to uh, know one another. And... Uh, I mean, I think Haitiensis are easy to breed. I mean, I've been keeping Haitiensis for <laughs> many years, and uh, to me, they breed like convicts, and they're so easy to keep. Anyway, we'll keep you updated on this one. I can't believe they're not even uh, showing off to one another or anything. Just hope she goes lovely and lovely and lovely and black. This guy is 16 inches plus. She's probably, I don't know, 10 or whatever. Anyway, but while we've got the, the film rolling, if anybody follows my channel, I'll just show you my new Jags, what I've got. Yeah, for those of you who follow my channel, uh, these are the new Jags. They're set, settling in nicely. Little Beryl, 
We haven't got a f name for the female. This settling in nicely. Anyway, let's tag a little bit on. We're tagging a bit on the end of this uh, video. Hope uh, it's interesting. I'm not putting you on pause this time. We'll just walk through. We'll have a look at the Dovi and Stroppy. So there's Wolfie. We'll do a, a, an upgrade on Wolfie's tank on another video. So there's Wolfie, the uh, Dovi. Not a very good shot, that is. It's all out of focus. Anyway, we'll move again. Stroppy. So, uh, all my followers. Uh, as you know, Stroppy was very, very poorly, but he's, uh, he's uh, lovely and healthy now, ain't you, mate, Strot? Look, back to his old stelp. A Stroppy old bugger he is. Ain't you, mate? So he's, he's doing fine. Anyway, we've got to keep this one short and sweet. It's supposed to be a HNC's video. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for the subscribers. And we'll, uh, we'll make some more videos of uh, what's going on around here. Thank you.